Here we're given a combination and a permutation and asked to simplify. Here we have 12 choose 1. Remember, when working with combinations, the order does not matter. And here we have 12 permute 1. When working with permutations, the order does matter. So normally, we expect the number of permutations to be more than the number of combinations. Since for a permutation, the order matters, and a combination, the order doesn't matter. But notice in this case, we're starting with 12 items in both cases, and we're only taking one at a time. So for only selecting one item at a time, there really is no order to consider. So we'll see when we evaluate these, we'll end up with the same result. So for 12 choose 1, notice how n is 12 and r is 1. So we would have n factorial or 12 factorial divided by n minus r factorial, that would be 12 minus 1 factorial times r factorial, which is 1 factorial. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We have 12 factorial divided by 11 factorial times 1 factorial. And now we'll begin to expand 12 factorial, but notice how because we have 11 factorial in the denominator, we can write 12 factorial as 12 times the remaining factors would be 11 factorial. So we have 12 times 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial times 1 factorial. 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial is equal to 1, and 1 factorial is also equal to 1, so this simplifies to 12. Which again should make sense. If we have 12 items and we're taking one at a time, we can make a total of 12 combinations. And now let's consider our permutation. So we have 12 permute 1, which is equal to n factorial or 12 factorial, divided by n minus r factorial, which would be 12 minus 1 factorial, or 12 factorial divided by 11 factorial. And now we'll simplify by beginning to expand 12 factorial. We'll write 12 factorial as 12 times 11 factorial, divided by 11 factorial, and once again, this simplifies to one, leaving us with 12 permutations. So notice how in both cases, the number of permutations and combinations is the same. And this is only true because we're only taking one item at a time. If we were taking more than one item at a time, the number of combinations and permutations would be different. There'd be more permutations than the number of combinations. I hope you found this helpful.